Hey everyone, this is Ed with Get Up and Get Grounded, and I'm setting up this channel basically to document uh, my cargo trailer camper conversion. And I have a 2017 United Trailers Venos trailer. Bought it from a contractor. Uh, it does have a few dings on it, but nothing too severe. It's uh, very well uh, sealed. Don't have any uh, rain that gets in. I've had the trailer for about two months now, and it's uh, been been doing great. Uh, so what I've done to the trailer so far is the tires that were on it were just terrible condition. Dry rotted, uh, had a lot of miles on them, and the driver's side tr uh, tire actually blew out and blew off the fender. So I did buy uh, new aluminum rims and tires. Uh, and I also have rims that I'm going to replace. I did, uh, I'm putting on this uh, a handle. I need, it came short a screw, so I need to go over to Menards and get another screw. But there's the old tires, which need to go to the dump. Uh, and as I mentioned, where the fender was taken off by the tire. So what I've done is I've gone to, uh, went to Home Depot and we got a roll of uh, just, I don't know, construction paper. I don't know what you call it, but it's 35 inch, uh, I don't know, about 100 feet long, 150 feet long, maybe. So I'm using this as templates to lay out for my design of how it's going to be. So right here uh, from uh, this line over to the wall is going to be the full size bed and I am making uh, about 15 inches of space underneath the bed to put some totes. It is a 10 inch thick mattress so it's going to come up to about 26 inches uh, maybe 27 inches when all said and done. Um, then next to the bed we will have the fridge I have a uh, dorm room fridge, it's 45 inches tall, I don't know how many uh, cubic feet, but it's got a nice freezer on top, uh, fridge at the bottom, it's pretty big for a dorm room fridge. Now going up, uh, I have some wicker baskets that I'm going to put five of them up here on a shelf and that will span about 75 inches total, so 35 inches wide wide paper I just cut two sheets I don't care about the middle uh, there's the wicker baskets just gonna use that for some uh, household storage that we're gonna need so have the fridge the uh, the kitchen area just gonna be simple um, small counter sink plan to be doing most of the cooking outside unless there is a uh, weather that prevents it v nose uh the kitchen goes into the v just a little bit haven't fully uh designed that yet but over on this side of the v by the door i'm actually going to have a composting toilet and there will be a wall going up right here to block the view so i can have the door open and still uh use the toilet so we got the uh, the shed style window, as you see here, and so we have four windows. We can put them side by side, but we've actually decided to space them out just a little bit. Um, we feel that we hope that it will allow a little bit more airflow to be felt instead of just being a tunnel uh, of air coming across. Oh, you know, with having them separate. We're hoping that it allows uh, more airflow. One of the things, uh, I went to uh, Menards to look at uh, some metal to add to the uh, framing of the trailer uh, to use for uh, such as below the windows, um, for putting on the new fender. Uh, I'm gonna put a uh, bracket to where the, uh, the fender will screw to 
because the old fender it was barely held on with two uh, uh, two screws. So I'm going to make sure it's put on a lot stronger. Uh, also using it for the backing of uh, the porch lights, which I will have three, two on the passenger side and one on the driver's side. Um, so I'm not welding these in, but what, uh, what I like is that, you know, as I was mentioning, we went to Menards to look at uh, metal to use for this. And afterwards, we were walking through the shelving department and my wife came across uh, the uprights for uh, uh, shelving like you'd put in the garage. It's unpainted. Uh, here, I cannot see that on the screen, so I hope that's coming through. But it was like six, seven dollars a piece. And it's actually a fairly heavy gauge. So that's what I'm using. It's uh, about half of what I'd be paying for uh, for the pieces. Uh, and it's gonna work just great. So there's, there's the build so far. Um, we will be putting our max airflow uh, about uh, here, which is above the head of the bed. And that way we can have uh, basically like a ceiling fan while we're sleeping over our heads. So comment below, ask any questions. Uh, you know, it's not gonna be elaborate. I don't need it to be elaborate, uh, but it's just gonna be nice. And it's going to be, uh, you know, just, Big enough for my wife and myself to go out and just have some fun. So just remember, you know, get up off your butt. Go out and do things, but stay grounded in life. This is Ed, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to subscribe if you want to follow the build.